karibu sana. Wherever you are, just lift your hands to Jesus and appreciate the King of Kings. Oh, surely the presence of God is in this place. Hey, we came for God and we will connect with God. Wherever you are, connect with Jesus and the Maker. Lift your hands to Him and begin to draw from Him. Oh, Rabba Santa Yando Rabba here. Love on Jesus, the Maker of heaven and earth, the forgiver of sin. Ha! The one who met a broken Peter and he changed him from being a fisher of fishes to a fisher of men. He is the game changer, oh Jesus. He is the game changer, Maganda. He is the price giver, he is a rewarder. He is the maker of heaven and earth. What would I be without you, God? Where would some of us be without this Jesus? bless your name we glorify you Jesus we honor you we bow before God I want us just to practically bow before the king we bow before you we bow before the king and we give him all the glory and the honor we say Yahweh ha you deserve all the glory. This far is the hand of God. Even for this ministry, this far God, we can attest it is your hand. For every woman or man that came, we came to say that this far Lord, it is your hand. I need some protocol breakers today. We came here for the presence of God. We came for a change and a transformation. It is not an ordinary Sunday. This Sunday we are connecting with Jesus in a special way. We give you glory. We honor you. Honor you we bless you. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. And the church said. You know. Depending on where God has taken you from, the Bible says, to whom much has been forgiven, much is, is expected. Depending on where God amekutoa, kulingana na vile umetembea na mungu, mahali mumepitana na ye, vile amekusaidia. Eh? Ukiona wengine tukifika mbele ya mungu, tunavunjika. If it were not God. If it were not God. And I'm grateful to be in this house and on this altar. Praise God. I'm very, very grateful. God and his wife, we've been speaking. But when I came into this house, I truly, truly felt the presence of God. The presence of God is evident here. And I want to appreciate you together with your beloved wife for the great work you're doing. Continue pressing in. 
and loving God. And to the PMI Church, hapa tunasema mbarikiwe sana tunawapenda. You can have your seats. Well, uh, I thank God for his journey masses. Tulifika vizuri kutoka na kuru. Kama vile mumeambiwa, majina yangu ni super, wa sheke, wa roe, wengine watu napatana nyenye kwenye runinga ya televisheni. Wengine wanasikia tukitangaza matangazo. Hata nimesikia matangazo moja hapo ya baba wetu wa kiroho, Bishop Gashengo. Uh, na nashukuru sana kutumika na mwenyezi mungu in the vineyard. I give God glory. Na sijakuja peke yangu leo hii nimekuja pamoja na watu ambao wanasimama pamoja na mimi, wanaomba na mimi. Nataka mama yangu mzazi ni pasta pia uh, na pia ni intercessor wangu. <laughs> Amefika hapa na akasema, "I must see this which God is doing in my daughter. It is good to support your own." Amefika hapa mom you can stand up. Tafadhali punga mkono wako. I also came with my brother. We are talking about evangelism, right? This one is my biological brother. Nilimuhubiria three weeks ago. Akaokoka by force, by fire. Hey! Anaitua Mr. Muya. Si mama pia. Nirusu tu nitue ushuda wake kidogo tunapoendelea. Alikuwa ajisiki vizuri. Na mimi nikajua. Yes, the day of salvation is... And the time is nikamhubiria injili nikama nahubiria watu 20 kwa sitting room yetu mama yangu ni she is a witness and i was saying wacha nikwambie usipopea yesu maisha yako i know it is now or nikahubiri nikamuli baada ya kuhubiri karibu ni sweat nikamuliza utaokoka kaniambia sio leo nikasema shwali na vile nimetoa jasho nyembamba after hiyo nikasema i will not give up nikamuita tukitoka kwenye gari langu unajua hapo house girl alikuwa anapita na wanamjua vile pengine kidogo alikuwa anakunywa anavuta sigara lazima alikuwa anataka kuona vile ataokoka so nikihubiri hivyo naona house help amepita anaangalia he junior ataokoka muya ataokoka leo naona dada yangu amepita kidogo but glory be to god after hapo nikamwambia twende kwa gari akaingia kwa gari nikamwambia hapa lazima uokoke the hapa akasema niko tayari and he gave his life to Christ salvation must begin with us and they say charity begins at home so as we are talking about evangelism please evangelize to that your brother to that your sister to that your cousin to that your house manager begin from there so glory be to God for his doing amen that was just in line with what you're speaking uh, pastor Masi will be speaking with us atakuwa kitupa neno kidogo baada nimemaliza to the glory of god today we are talking about pressing in and maybe just to mention as we continue i'm from kingdom seekers fellowship my spiritual father is apostle john kemani william mtapokea salamu zake na baraka zake asante and today we are talking about pressing in it is very important to press in in life Pressing in, in Amanisha, it's an act, from what I read from my dictionary or instance, of applying force or weight to something. Mm -hmm. That is what we can define pressing in us. It is the act or instance of applying pressure, force or weight to something. Praise God. If you're writing your notes and you want to understand pressing in more, you can say pressing in means to push. It also means to go that extra mile to open the door against all odds. Nile hali ya kuna mwimbaji anaitwa Shiro wa GP anasema kuhihinyana. Naelewa hiyo kwa wale wa Kikuyu, wale wanaelewa Hebrew kidogo kama umetoka Kakamega tunamaanisha inaitwa aje kwa kiluya ama kikabla kingine ile ile hali ya to press. Sio? All right. Kuna quote moja nitaanza nayo leo inasema the winners in this life are not the most educated ones not the prettiest not the most hard working mm -mm. and in case you thought that the winners in life are the givers only i want to submit to you that how sio wale wanaopata kushinda neither the smartest not the most beautiful neither the bravest 
But the winners in this life are those who persisted one more time against all odds. One more time against all odds. Talk, turn to your neighbor and tell them pressing in. Persistence. When you press more than once, twice, thrice. And someone would ask, woman of God, we're talking about ile hali ya kupata, unajua kusukuma zaidi ya kawaida. Kama pengine mlango ndio ule, unapata umefungika, unajua kuna mtu aneza kuja pale kwa ule mlango, akipata umefungika, ajaribu, afungue. Akiona haufunguki, a give up. Kuna mwingine atakuja na nyundo, agonge. Akigonga, ule mlango kikata kufunguka, a give up. Kuna mwingine pengine atakama mlango ni wa ita metal door. Huo mlango ata usipo funguka. Ataita nini? Ataita siski, let us talk. We are learning from each other. Ataita, ni, ataita nani ya manini? Kabisa, ataita welder. Aseme, huu mlango lazima ufunguke persistence. Na kuna mchungaji moja alisema, wa Kenya mlango usipo funguka, ama wakati kuna mlango umefungika, wa Kenya... Eh, usipo funguka, they, wa, wa, wanavunja, wanajaribu sana. Akasema waganda ni wapole sana. Sijuka kuna mganda hapa. Wana, kuna mganda hapa. Tasema o, oh, wei, atawungia mbuna umu lango ufunguki. Why is it no opening? Eh? Lakini muna Igerias, you know how violent they are. Mulango usipo, usipo funguka, atajaribu na gurudumu zote na mambo yote. Yafanya nini? And that is our portion, the power of persistence. Amen. And we want to understand why should we persist in life? I think we are at a place where we understand what it means to persist. Maybe just to share my short testimony that I love to encourage each one of us with. You may see me today here with, with a lipstick or being said uh, super sheke kutoka MBCI. But I grew up in the ghetto. Ghetto zile za nakuru. That is where I grew up. And I remember growing up, desiring more to life than what was offered. I was with my brother there. Ni vizuri ni mekuja. Na yeye ili ile testimony ya pate kusema kama ni kweli. Na wakati mwingine tuliko tunapitia wakati mzito pamoja hata na mama. Na, na kumbuka angenda hata na jaribu kutafuta ndege. I've eaten birds. I've eaten rabbits. Katasi of him, I salute you man of God. When the days were very hard, alikuwa nenda anajaribu njia. Kwa sababu kulikuwa kichakani hivi. Anajaribu kidogo nenda natafuta uh, with this. Walikuwa naita kwa kikuyu kegoza. Simu naijua? Anenda unagonga kabad pale, anakuja, anakaranga, batulona mwili yake ni kubwa. So alikuwa nakula three quarter, mi nakula. But I remember every morning would wake up with him at five. Mama would prepare us very early in the morning. Na tungeenda shule mama ngina. It was a distance. And in my heart, I felt there was more to life than this. I remember walking to life, I walking to school alone, and just saying, God, I'm hungry, because breakfast, wakati mungina tujapata, and just desiring, God, give, a, give me more to life. And I was told by my teachers, you're gifted. You are an orator. You have this and this. You have whatever it takes. And day in, day out, I knew in my heart, that there was more to life, but I needed to apply persistence. So this is how I got my job at MBCI. But it's called persistence. I have zero education. Kingdom Seekers is one of the biggest ministries. I laughed when I was in prayer and I had a visitation. And the Lord revealed to me the person who was doing voiceovers had gone to another town. Remember, I'm working on Revelation. So I went to the media people, no education. And I told them, I hear Lorraine is not in town. She has no problem with me mentioning her because she understands the testimony. She's not in town. Na kwamba, amenda mahali pengine kufanya kazi. Wakanambia kweli, and I was like, thank you God. My revelation was, imagine ukisema hivafu ambwewe, ndo ule pale kwa desk. And I said, aha. I said, I feel I can do voiceover. Because I had, I had felt an, a, a direction towards that. A calling towards that. That was my profession. That was my career. So I walk in and they tell me, get into that booth. They can get into that booth. Persistence. 
Wakaniambia sasa shika hivyo unajua ni watu wa media. Ukasema shika hii na ni watu wamesomea, wengine wametoka station kubwa kubwa. Shika hii karatasi soma hii tunakusikiza. Nikasoma. Kwa ile booth there was a mirror or a, a glass so I could see through. Nikiangalia naona wakifanya hapana. Bado hajafika mbo? He, wakaniambia ongeza, ongeza, ongeza sauti, ongeza sauti. So nikawa pale nika encourage. Ilikuwa kwanza mahubiri ya Apostle. I, I think after mehubiri, nikasema Apostle John Kemani William. Nikawaangalia nikasema you better know that and say it is good. Hey. I'm persisting. I've never done this thing, but I'm pursuing my destiny. Wakasema sawa, iko sawa. Wakapelekea mchungaji. Bwana asifiwe. Apostle wakapelekewa the mighty man of God. Nika fast nikaenda kwa kanisa akipelekewa reka baganda akisikia nipate favor akisikia persistence so are we together nikaitwa na yule mmoja wa media kaniambia actually he has said your voice is anointed hey and he, and he has asked how much do you want to be paid the wisdom of god i said actually tell him i need to pay him for giving me the opportunity kuna wengine wakiulizo hivyo wanaenda kwa calculator and umwambie and you lose favor life is not just about money nikasema tell him it is me even to pay for giving me the opportunity i am a nobody from just somewhere there who has been led by god and i've gotten that opportunity and from then on i rose ladders rose ladders became a radio presenter and as we talk i'm one of the managers persistence and on that as we continue I want us to get to Mark 8:43. Mark 8:43. The woman with the issue of blood got her miracle by pressing in against the crowd and touched the hem of the garment. Leo nimesikia watu ambao hapa wameimba vizuri wako na sauti nzuri. Anyone who can read that for me? Mark 8:43. The woman with the issue of blood. Turn to your neighbor tell them today we are pressing in. To higher, levels. to higher levels. Mark 8 verse 4. 43. The, the woman with the issue of blood. What did I say? Mark 8. All right. Mwaje mimi sijai kwa mahali ninaambia watu wa media watu wa media fanyeni hiyo mambo haraka haraka. Si ndio watu naambiwa. So it is it is powerful to be on this other side. Watu wa media organize that. Na kama mhubiri kuna mahali amefanya blood tengeneza. Our media team. Come on someone appreciate our media team. <laughs> Sawa, we can get that. Mark chapter 8 verse 23, right? 8:43. It's not Mark. All right, let me read it here. I think when I was doing the notes I wrote mark instead of eight what media ni sameheni All right now na sote Now let me read that thank you Now there was a woman who had been suffering from the issue of blood for 12 years and though she had spent all she had on physicians no one could cure her She came up behind Jesus and touched the fringe of his clothes and immediately the issue of blood stopped praise god let us go to luke 8:43 to 48 i will read it again now there was a woman who had been suffering from the issue of blood for 12 years and though she had spent all she had on physicians no one could cure her she came up behind jesus oh thank you lord and touched the fringe of his clothes and immediately her issue of blood stopped praise god 
I want you to walk with me and imagine your village or where you come from. Wengine wetu hapa najua tumetoka Kakamega, wengine wetu ni watu wa hapa, uh, Thika, mahali popote tu umetoka, wengine tumetoka Nakuru. And I want you to see in your heart or in your spirit or in your thoughts that small village you came from or big village. Na nataka uimagine mwanamke katika kijiji kama hicho kama angekuwa na issue ya blood kwa miaka kumi na mbili ingekuwa siri in a village. Kwa sababu let me just celebrate this for you. Kwa sababu anaenda kununua sanitary towels katika duka ukinunua mwaka moja, miaka miwili unajua hii blood ilikuwa ni nonstop inatoka tu inatoka tu lazima watu katika kijiji wataanza kuongea he unaona mama nani kuna ishu. unajua njoki there is an issue pengine umeenda katika wa, the ladies wanaelewa harusi nguo yako imechafuka so this woman i perceive must have walked in a lot of stigma 12 years. One year is okay. Kama wanawake wanaelewa hapa if you have that issue for a few days and you feel like it is too much. Can you imagine one year, two years, 10 years, 12 years the same issue persistently pressing on you. It was difficult. And you understand the issue of bleeding in this society. Hata kina ndugu zetu wasikeni kana kwamba waelewi there is a lot of bleeding. Na vile nimesikia hata mchungaji akiomba kuna bleeding hata unaweza pata kwa a certain area ya alcoholism. Vijana wetu unapata wameshikwa mateka na maroho ya ulevi and the society is bleeding. In church we can be bleeding because of hatred, jealousy, lack. I look at our young people every day having told you I work for an organization and maybe I'm uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a senior person to the glory of God I just, I'm just saying that to say I see our young people in troops coming in with applications and it breaks my heart and I hear calls kuna nafasi ilipatikana and you can apply or you can employ wachache tu the nation unapata in a bleed from joblessness lack poverty my god just before we talk about this woman alone and you just envision her umuone katika kijiji chao ama area alikuwa na kaa ehe akijulikana sana ako na issue look at yourself also look at your surrounding your church and try to start doing a diagnosis of what area of your life is bleeding And as this woman was bleeding profusely with a lot of shame and stigma. And you know especially in those days, mwanamke angekuwa na situation kama hiyo, ulikuwa unaambiwa tu usitokee mbele ya watu. There are some things huko unafaa kufanya. But she had that the son of God was in town. That same town that she was known for having the issue of blood. This woman is bleeding but she has news that the healer is in town. And this healer is not walking alone. Anatembea with troops of people wamemzingira. Because I want to tell you Jesus is king. We may not know it or we may know it but let me submit to you even when he was here on earth. Hakuwa anatembea tu peke yake. Because of his miracle, his anointing, you know anointing pulls. Alikuwa anatembea na disciples na wengine wamemfuata kwa sababu ya miujiza. And this woman must have done her investigation right. When you know your situation, please understand your solution. We cannot deal with just situations and issues. We need to perceive solutions. Like I told you, when I understood where my calling was, God gave me a solution. He said, go to that place, to that studio and do one, two, three. Because the person who was there has left. And that is the solution of your job, your career and your lifting. Oh my God. The solution is in town. I want to tell you that the solution is in PMI today. And this woman is pressing in and i can feel her i understand her because life has pressed me too with many issues in life and i know as you sit there there are issues that sometimes we can talk about or not talk about ambazo zimetusumbua she decides to press in 
bleeding woman, but she's pressing in. With stigma on her head, but she's pressing in. Anajulikana, akona alama, and she presses in the crowd until Rabashanta Labazoya, she touches the hem of Jesus. And without going into many details, we understand that she receives her healing. And Jesus says, who touched me? Today, we are those who press in. Against the stigma, against the pain, against the situations, ambazo zimekuja kwa maisha yetu, we are pressing in. And can I tell you, when we press in, we get solutions. When we press in, we get miracles. When we press in, we are set free. When we press in, we are liberated. Praise God. We are pressing in this beautiful Sunday in the name of Jesus. And someone is saying, why should I press in? I want also to talk to you about a man in the Bible called Esau. A man in the Bible called Esau. We talk so much about Isaac. But today, church, let us talk about the brother ambaya linyanganywa. Right yaki. Mara nyingi tunongea juu ya baba yao. Mara nyingi tunongea juu ya ndugu yao. Ndugu yake. Ambaye tunasema alikuwa na baraka ya mungu Jacob. Tunasema Jacob akapata baraka. But let's talk about Esau for a minute. Wewe unajua baraka ni yako. Hakuna kitu ulifanya kibaya. But kwa sababu tu mama yako alimpenda tu ndugu yako. Your birthright is taken. And that birthright meant inheritance. And he loses it. And he goes before God. And he says, God, shall I live like this? And let us hear what the word of God says. Allow me to read this for myself in the book of Genesis chapter 27 verses 40. Let us turn there. Genesis 27 verses 40. A broken Esau before the God of Israel. And the Bible says he's given the solution. He's told you will live by the sword and you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless... You will throw his yoke from your neck. Praise God. You will live by the sword. You will serve your brother. But changes everything. Praise God. He said, but when you grow restless, when you shall feel it is time to press in, to persist, to break forth, you will get back that which is yours. But what does that mean? There must be a pressing in and a persistence from him. Because surely already that which belongs to him has been taken. He's not negotiating. You know you could negotiate. Will you take? No, it's mine. Uh -uh, it's gone. This one is a gone case. And he goes and God says through his word that day you will grow restless. You will break the yoke. How many of us are willing to get restless and press in and persist and break through and say this situation I'm in, this financial situation I'm in, I will break forth. Someone says then how do I break forth? One way of breaking forth is through prayer. Persistence in prayer. Have you prayed for three days and you haven't been able to get your solution? I come to submit to you that one, two, three is not enough. You can press more. Have you been to college and you feel umetafuta kazi umekosa? Ah, we demand for you through persistence. May the Lord open doors for you. Don't give up. And the ku apply. Usisema hii Kenya hakuna kazi. Apana. Sio Kenya inapeana kazi. We are of a different citizenship. Praise God. Hey. Which area of your life is it in your marriage that things are not working? Press on. Read books. Get solution. See your pastor. There is a pressing in. For there to be a breaking through, there must be a pressing. Church, I look at Esau and my heart hurts for him. When I imagine, what if it were me? I was born firstborn. 
hakuna makosa amefanya ah it is written that the firstborn shall get inheritance but hapati your inheritance it has been swindled he's been conned but he's told i want you to read this with me you will live by the sword and you will serve your brother but when but when is it your pastor i can't hear you is it your pastor is it your husband is it the choir who shall grow restless and press in who, who, who i mean who carries that responsibility when you shall grow restless you shall break the yoke from your neck today i came to speak to those this message may not be for everyone but i came to speak for those who understand where i am i need to press in i feel there is a higher level there is a higher dimension god i thank you for where i am na kushukuru kwa watoto wangu na kushukuru kwa kazi yangu na kushukuru kwa jamii yangu na kushukuru kwa uimbaji wangu but i feel in the realms of the spirit there is a higher level there is a higher place i came to pick them so that we can go together because i also came to tell you that i feel the responsibilities with me and i need to go to a higher place but i wanted to go with some people can we go can we persist can we push through can we break through oh my god i need people who can say this is my ministry this is my church it is my responsibility how it will expand pastor has said one for each for one i will not sit and wait a hand joke alileta wangapi we church yetu atasupana kuja wa mbci tunaenda crusade hmm no even before we get there thank you for appreciating but i'll ask you how many have you evangelized have you broken forth to bring souls that are lost in the kingdom of god there's someone here saying lord i have seen i have heard of your works i need a new level in my life in whichever area my life is bleeding like the woman with the issue of blood the life of my neighbor my country my my, my area where i live it is bleeding but i need to tell you until we persist we cannot get the results and the area i've spoken about fast way of getting results is through prayer we are still there i'm, I'm on track is through prayer you know what i've heard them say that if you can kneel before god you can stand you can stand before men and there are things that will not shift in the spiritual realm in the atmosphere unless you take time to pray i remember a time in my life i was going through a very difficult issue it was a bondage i did everything and i want to tell you there's a time god allows you to go through things that even your pastor can't help you that even your your friends can't help you because god wants you although there are things ambazo pia tukikuja na the corporate anointing wakati umejiombea inakuwa rahisi for the man of god to help you push through but you know the problem we have in church is that people want to eat drink and not pray and bring their head pastor niombe then when it doesn't happen you say it is but remember it is when you shall grow and pray we are talking about prayer and as i was in prayer asking god how do i break forth this because god can give you different instructions for different things he can ask you do a sacrifice uh, go see a certain priest of god a man of god god told me i want you to fast i'll say this with all humility for a hundred days and he gave me the pattern i'm not saying i did not eat all those days there was a pattern i said god mimi hata the most i had done was that thing na nilikuwa nasikia kama nita faint na drinks na cabbages i said god how shall i get there and god told me because of this issue i'm giving you the solution you have asked persist harder in prayer and i began the prayer of course there were times i would eat in the evening there are times lord would tell me do three days of fasting until that bondage broke and you can imagine if i have i was not willing to pay the price of prayer 
Maybe hata singekuwa hapa because it was a very very critical issue. Praise God. And that's why I'm excited when I come to a house of God like this and I feel the presence of God. Because we do have a friend of ours who's a preacher. Eh? We are talking about persistence. Na siku moja let me just share this. Alikuwa ameomba, amefunga na sema God give me an opportunity to to preach. Na wakati aliitwa mahali la nchawa akaenda kahubiri na power. Aka release the word of God. Kidogo akaona kwa kona eh. Kibeti anatembea. Upande huo mwingine akasikia nduru mbili tatu. Kipofu ana Oh my God, akaenda akalia mbele ya Mungu akasema today God has remembered me. I've been seeking God. Alipoenda kwa pastor kwenda ku, ku, kuongea na yeye amwambie pastor asante for the opportunity. Akaona pia wale wenye walikuwa wamepona wako pale kwa pa na wanapewa pesa kidogo. Akasema ikosi ni fair. Au pastor must be very generous. Ukipona lazima unapewa fair. At least unaenda unashukuru Mungu. Akamuliza pastor what is going on? Yo pastor akamwambia hawa ni wale wa kuinua watu nini? Imani. Hawa ni wale wa kuinua watu? Kwa sababu hata mimi I wanted to make preaching easy. Usijali hata kama hawa wawili wame wamekaa ni kama wame wamepona na hawako wamepona. Usijali kuna mwingine ame receive faith na akapo. Shakata. And the brother called and said God. Ile ushuhuda nilikuwa nimetoa pale awali because he had called his friends kuambia viwete wametembea. Kaambia unfortunately it was all I would rather we persist until God moves in our lives. We want a church that can persist until miracles are tangible. We shall not fake it till we make it. That is for social media. They say we fake it till we make it. We are not faking it. We are persistent. We are pressing in until we make it. Until we break through. Hatutatoa ushuhuda ambazo wazipo for us we shall press in and God shall show himself mighty. And I felt as I was in prayer that that was an area the Lord there are many areas we press in. That was an area the Lord was really laying in my in my heart. I share with us especially about persistence in prayer because we understand that the spiritual realm dictates what happens in the in the physical realm. Kwa hivyo tukikomand bingu vile tumekomand hivyo ndivyo mambo yatakuwa hapa duniani. So can we start from that place of prayer? I can tell we are a praying church, but good is not good enough. There is a higher level. And I know we all understand and appreciate the men of God, our Father in the Lord, Bishop Gashengo, Apostle Kemani. These are men who have taught us the worth of prayer. Waiting in the presence of God. Praise God. And even as you are praying pastor before I came here, I can really attest to the glory of God. I felt the presence of God. What if we pressed in a little bit as the church and go deeper? Bwana asifiwe. Tutakwambia mambo makubwa na mazuri yatafanyika. Na vile tumesema sisi sio wale. Unajua mimi ninaona sana social media, mimi niko kwa media. Eh naona pale watu wanasema in this life, vile mueleza you fake it. Kama una kazi unaenda kwa social media unapigwa ukiwa smart na nails. Na unasema my new job at UON ama UN. Ndio wale wako wanakuwatch na wanatizama page yako wana wanakushangaa. Unasema I will fake it hard mali nitaweza ku break through ni make it. But we have said for us we will press in until we in the name of Jesus. Church of Christ as we continue on that topic of pressing in and the lord is speaking to us i am already blessed i want us to look at jesus christ as i conclude how he pressed him on the cross when he would go to the disciples na nawauliza nyinyi bado mnalala and they would and say can't you pray can't you press in just for one hour but anapata wamelala but he went a good example The best example is Jesus. But he would press in and pray until when his hour came, wakati wa kwenda kusulubiwa, he had the grace. It wasn't his even on the cross. He said, "Lord, ikiwezekana, let this cup pass from me." Kwa sababu haikuwa rahisi. He had no sin 
And I want to tell you, this is not story. This is not theory. He was pure. He was, a, he was God himself. And here he is being told, Lazima usulubiwe, ili wangare, ili kamau, ili pengine na fula, apate kupata uhai. So he had to press in and he would cry and say, God, if it is possible, let this cup in pity. But because of the power of persistence, even when all odds were against him, at one point he even told them, Kawambia, don't you know, nineza nikaita legion za malaika wakuje. But he didn't do that. He persisted to the cross. Nakiwa pale wakati alisulubiwa, with all the pain, he said, it is finished. As we persist, there is a place of breakthrough where we say, it is finished, and the curtain tore. And when the curtain tore into two, there was a way made, there was a breakthrough, there was a way off of passing for mankind, for you and I. So as wakati tunaendelea, kuomba, kusoma neno, kukubali kuishi maisha matakatifu, kumfuata kristo, kuna barabara ambo inafunguka. And when that curtain turned into two, barabara ikawa ikupale, he persisted. And because of his persistence, you and I, oh my God, we have Jesus. We are born again. What if my Lord would have said, this cup is too much? Lord, sitaweza, where would we be? What if he would have said, oh, the pain, I can't imagine, I'm the son of God, crucified, and the mockers coming. Wakisipa kama weni mwana wa mungu, jitoe tuone. Eh? Ujo kuna wala mama wakosti wale. Eh, wakita kukuanesha dharao, wanaku? Eh, wanasipa kama weni mwana wa mungu basi. Teremuka tu? Tuone. Can you imagine the son of God going through that mockery? Wanasema wakatukua nguwe yake, wakararua they divided his clothes amongst themselves. And he has power to call the legion of angels. But he says, I must persist for the generations. I must persist that they can enter into the kingdom of heaven. I must persist that there might be life and life more abundant. I must persist that they can be healed. I must persist that they can break through in their lives. Akawa pale. Anachapo, akachapo mwana wa mungu. Persistence. Oh God, what persistence is that? Would I persist, Lord? Won't you give us the grace to persist like your son? Lord Jesus, won't you help us to persist in prayer, in holiness, in every area of our lives, in our marriages? Would you help us persist to pray for our children? Wewe ambaye pengine unaona mtoto wako teenager, ameanza kwenda hivi hivi, usiogope, I came with a solution. Persist! And Jesus was there, akiwa anasulubiwa. Machozi yanamdondoka. Akali akasema Eloi, Eloi. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Persistence. Persistence. Akaendelea tu. But I love the end of persistence. As I conclude, let me tell you how persistence ends. Just in case you don't know how the story of persistence ends, let me tell you the word of God says in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, that that day when they went to the tomb, the ladies, and they met an angel and he said, Behold, I know who you are looking for. He is not dead. He is risen. That is how the story of persistence ends. We rise. We rise, praise God. And he said, come, just in case you don't understand, let me show you where they laid him. Ha! And they were following, they were saying, who is this? And they say in the Bible that he was wearing white linen, white clothes, the angel of God. He was sparkling. And they are walking. Hey, and they are following the angel. I can see them saying, what is happening? Anenda na waonesha, angalia, mahali alilala, hayupo, Fufuka. He persisted and he says, go because he has gone before you. When you persist, may the Lord go before you. He says he has gone before you and they go and they tell the disciples. The disciples can't believe. When you persist, what you will see, even those around you will be surprised, will be shocked. Hey, hallelujah. Now, 
mwana my gosh waka mwana ko pale mwana wa Mungu amefufuka amengara ameinuliwa ametukuka wakasema surely we were not following a vain road he is alive there is something happens when we persist in Jesus just like he resurrected let that be your portion as you persist may you receive that job as you persist may you receive that marriage as you re- persist may your young children love God all the more wale wamefungwa na pombe katika hii area as we persist in our evangelism today may they be delivered we shall not stop we shall not quit this is our generation these are our children these are our young people we shall not leave them to the hands of the enemy they shall and they must be delivered hey there's a time i had a shop in town in akuru and i was just realizing myself in in in, in ministry and a young man came and the spirit of god said preach to him and the lord told me this guy is in illuminati so i told him by word of knowledge the lord speaks to me that you are in illuminati and this and this is happening in your family and he was so surprised nisi nani alikwambia nani alikwambia and i told him and i started to preach to him and he gave his life to christ i remember i was so excited i went to just akiwa bado ndio una grow in ministry i went to my spiritual father i found the secretary of course he's a busy man i said tell him he's urgent Tell him it is urgent. I have an urgent testimony. And the young man gave his life to Christ. We are saying our young people will not go to Illuminati and serve the devil. We are saying our young people we hey, I need some prophetic people here. People who understand prophetic declarations. We are saying they will not be bound by LGBT. Wanawake hawatakuwa wanaume. Na wanaume hawatakuwa wanawake. Tunakataa na watoto wetu. Tunakataa na kizazi chetu. Hawataenda usiku majini kufanya viujiza kule ya kishetani hapana this is our generation yes in this town in this city tunakuja kusema vile pastor amesema tunakuja kuongeza moto mabaya yote rakaba sota ya yabadilike kuwa makanisa hey in the name of jesus tunakuja kusema wale wanawake wanasimama kwenye barabara tunanena kwa hatima zao hao ni evangelist wakubwa How the evangelists were kubwa we are calling their spirits back we are calling them back woman what are you doing on the streets that is not your portion we are calling you into the house of god you are a praise and worship leader you are an evangelist you are a woman of god you are a preacher oh my god who oh, reba sota we get into the spiritual realm tunaingia kwa mashule zetu tunaingia kwa madometri za vijana tunakatana na roho ya gaysim tunaivunja tunaiangusha chini tunasema vijana watakuwa the men will be men our daughters need husbands our daughters need husbands therefore you shall not take them we are going into the women's dormitory into the girls dormitory i wish i get one radical woman oh my god who can prophesy with me you are good but i want to go in the spiritual realm and get into the dormitories of girls and say to anjiro and say to nekesa you shall not sleep with nekesa oh this country is for god we are pulling you out i am going to where they are taking bang and the dance of alcohol and i came to say enough is enough let my people go let my people go hey let my people go let my young people go i'm a persistent woman i don't give up no matter what you throw on my way devil i know you've tried to destroy me you've tried to put me down but because i'm called of god i came with a prophetic decree i came to say i must pass this time hey not this time devil oh those who have lost their husbands not this those who have lost their jobs not in the name of jesus 
in the name of Jesus. I just need prophetic women. I need prophetic young men. I need those who know how to intercede in the spirit. Hold my hand. Let us go into the realms. We need to do a persistence. We need to break. Yes, the word of God says that when they were praying, oh, there was Peter. Hey, the church was praying. Now Peter alikuwa mefungwa. Wakati walikuwa naomba. Waka muona. Waka sikia noku kwa mlango. Waka enda kuangalia. Ni nani? Ni Peter. I'm persisting. If prayer can release Peter from jail, I'm persisting. If prayer can save Peter's life, I'm persisting. Oh my God. Oh shakala masonda. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Grace that says we don't give up. Grace that says us, our family, hey, shall serve God. Grace that says this church of PMI, Thika, shall only expand. Anoint me with that grace. Anoint me, Lord, with that grace to stand my ground and break through every barrier in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Persist. Persist in prayer. Please don't look at me. I'm not a media personality. I came as a woman of God. Please, if you expected me to tell you about cameras and to tell you about this and that, not today. Today I came with the oracle of God. I came with the mouthpiece of God to say, Mashando Lobosaya, Rekapato La Bayanda, Rakataya, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Kenya, my motherland, I come to speak to you. You must be delivered. You must give forth. You must lose our young men and our men. You must lose our men from alcoholism and drug addiction and shisha. Oh God, I came like the woman with the issue of blood. Nimekucha leo, kama mwanamuke, aliekua his disciples but I'm a persistent woman let the glory of God fill this house let the anointing of Yahweh anoint us for persistence we came to you Lord with a prayer in our hearts Lord Anoint us with the spirit of persistence. Anoint us with the power of persistence. We agree we gave up like your disciples did when you said one more hour, one more hour. And they said, we are feeling weak. But you persisted, Master. Anoint me with the oil of persistence, Yahweh. Hey. Until the walls break, I'll be persisting. Until the walls give way, I'll be persisting in prayer. Until every bondage in my life is broken, I'll be persisting. Oh, oh. I'll be waiting on you. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. I know it's one more person to be a persistent one. Elijah Tu 
tuendelee kuvunja kila nira katika maisha yetu mpaka ule wakati esa utachoka ndipo utavunja nira tutie mafuta kila nira ivunjike nira iliyo kwa hili kanisa lazima itavunjika nira iliyo kwa vijana kwa Kenya kwa udogo wetu kwa tumbo zetu kwa oh god huduma zetu pesa zetu nani alisema wa Kristo waezi kuwa na mabiashara nani alisema wa Kristo waezi kuwa na makampuni lazima nira zivunjike lazima nira ziondolewe katika jina la Yesu lazima hii huduma isaye mamilionea na mabilionea ili kazi ya Mungu ikuwe rahisi he na bashanda rabasaya rekabaganda ribaboria mi nakataa kuwa mtu wa kawaida nakataa kuwa mtu tu wa milia nakataa kuwa tu hapana ah there is a higher ground there is a higher level kataa 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 kuwa mtu wa kawaida kataa kuwa mwanamke wa kawaida kataa kuwa mchezaji viombo wa kawaida kataa kuwa mama wa kanisa wa kawaida kataa kuwa mchungaji wa kawaida lazima nira zivunjike lazima nira zivunjike hey, hey. kama mwanamke aliyekuwa na ishu ya blada alivofunga akafunga akasema lazima nipite nani atakaye pita nani atakaye pita nani atakaye pita nataka watu wawili twende safari tuvunje nira tuvunje nira tuvunje nira watilia watoto wangu watilia jamii yangu watilia kanisa langu watilia jamaa yangu watilia uimbaji wangu watilia huduma yangu lazima niingie of God on this altar is great we persist for it in prayer the my god lord i know grace when i know when i see it the grace on this altar we persist for it it must reach nations many must be transformed yes in the name of jesus the praise and worship team on this altar shall release songs that shall touch nations i came as a prophet of god shakata rakata ba rakata Zakatoria satatata ramakosha yandorobe yakatatata rakatatata zakalamaha yatelele yatabaganda yatakosoria natakaselaba eitaka eitala zaka he he Jesus Hey you are high 
shift in the spirit. Oh, shakalaba sotaya. That's the power of God. I feel a shift. Oh, shalalabo sotaya. I came to bath. Oh my God, intercessors. I came to bath. Preachers. I came to bath. Prophetic worshippers. We came to bath persistence. And it is being bath right now. Concentrate on Yahweh now. Concentrate on Jesus. Like the woman with the issue of blood. Touch the hem of his garment. Touch it now. Yes, in Jesus. Let sickness leave. Shakaba Jesus, Jesus, you are high, you are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus, you are high, you are highly lifted up, Jesus, 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 tell him you are high, you are highly lifted up, say Jesus, Jesus. just saying this with all humility the lady who was leading praise and worship today I don't know who she is but there is a heavy prophetic grace of worship prophetic worship over your life there is a heavy grace and I pray for you that you will release songs that will touch nations with your team If I be a woman of God and by the grace of God with all humility, I pray, may the power of God enable the gifting of God in your life manifest. And by the grace of God on your man of God, may Jesus use you as an arrow. I see you as an arrow. In the spiritual realm, you shall go to places and lift worship. Because right now we are moving from songs, we are getting into worship and ministry. May that be your portion. I pray for that choir. The grace of God over this choir. You shall sing songs that shall transform nations. The God of Sinach is your God. If he can do it for her, he can do it for you. The God of Mercy Chinomo is your God. You shall release songs that shall move all over the world in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you glory. And lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up.
just take this minute to give Jesus thanks and praise for what he has done. We bless the name of the Lord for using his servant in a special way. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst this afternoon. He's highly exalted in this house. He's turning around our lives. He's making us to persist and to press in. The anointing of God to press in. As the word says, when you shall grow restless, you shall break the yoke of your neck. We are persisting until the yokes are broken. We are persisting until we get our breakthroughs. We are persisting until we possess that which God has set aside for us. We are not giving up. We are not giving up. We are not giving up. We are persisting until we become all that we are meant to be. We refuse to be discouraged. We refuse to give up along the way. We refuse to be boggled down. We decree and declare as the word has come we are pressing in like the woman until we are whole. The crowd will not stop us. Yes, men will not stop us. Opposition will not stop us. We are pressing in until we are made whole. Until everything stops like it stopped on the day of the woman with the issue of the blood until every man turns around and until something happened in the heavenly realms Jesus had to stop a meeting for something had happened there was a woman that had pressed in there was a woman who had touched her in a different way hey, when Jesus is asking who is this that touched me who is this that has touched me the disciples could not understand because that is only the language of them that are able to press in that is only the language of them that understand the power of breaking through the crowd to get at the core of the matter. We are getting at the core of the matter. Our families are being released. We are serving God with our families. Our fathers are being set free. Our mothers are being set free. Our husbands are being set free. Our sons are being set free. Our daughters are being set free. Our children shall serve our God. They will serve our God. We shall serve with our generation and our city shall serve God. Black Kishama shall serve Jesus. Nairobi shall serve Jesus. Kenya shall serve Jesus. We are pressing in for our nation. Right now there are those that are mocking us when we pray. There are those who are mocking us when we rise as a church. But we are declaring we are not going down. We can only go up. We can only go higher. Oh the spirit of God is raising a standard for the church. Church of Kenya. The spirit of God is raising a standard for us. How I pray that men and women can press in. Press in. Press in. Press in. Even when the crowd is so heavy. Press in. There were men that carried their friend to Jesus. When they got to the place of the meeting, the house was packed. There was no way in. But the men were determined. Our brother has to be war. The Bible says they made the way through the roof. They dropped the man before Jesus. If it means going through the roof, then we shall go. And we shall get one with our brothers. We shall get one with our nation. Our breeding, our breeding young men, our breeding mothers, our breeding fathers must get healed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for releasing the grace to press in this afternoon. For we shall press in until our city is healed. Until our marriages are healed. Until the church is healed. The church of Jesus Christ in this city shall be healed. We are seeing the church united. We are seeing the church becoming one voice. This small fight, we are seeing them come down. One church shall reach out to another. One pastor shall reach out to another. They shall form an army of the Lord. They shall get to the harvest field. Not as one church, but a gathering of saints shall come together to harvest souls, to prepare the bride for the second coming of Christ. We are not building our temples. We are not building our cathedrals. We are calling together the body of Jesus for the end time harvest. Thank you for the grace to press him for the church. Thank you King Jesus. We bless you for today. We bless you for sending us your servant and sending us your word. We receive it, oh God. We receive it. And 
by your anointing we declare we are counted among that will bless him in our generation will bless him in our time we will bless him until we have a breakthrough until our communities are healed in the name of Jesus our heavenly father we are grateful for today and we thank you for sending your vessel we thank you for allowing our ears to hear and we thank you for the grace that you have raised on this altar father we walk in the grace we walk in the anointing and we will do what you are commanding us to do we say thank you for choosing to bless us this way this great afternoon may your anointing and grace rest upon each and every person in this house rest upon all them that are following online the Lord we shall be them that shall press in until solutions are found until questions have found answers until communities are transformed for the glory of God father we thank you we praise you and honor you for this we pray in Jesus name